Well, President's Day is a pretty versatile holiday. Some of us spent the day engaged in virtuous labor, so we could bring you an entertaining news show at 9 p.m. I'm not sure if that's virtuous, but that's what we did. Other people spent time with their families, went to ski resorts, the Caribbean. But for some people, President's Day was a nice excuse to protest. Thousands gathered across the country for not my President's Day protests, where they vowed to resist President Trump. We're joined tonight by Shane Sanders, who participated in one of these demonstrations in L.A. Shane, thanks for joining us. So, Thank you, Tucker. When I saw this, I've interviewed a lot of people at protests and protest leaders, and, and I'm, I'm mostly interested in why. So there have been a lot of protests against Trump, and a lot of people, famous people, people with TV shows jumping up and down and saying he's terrible, he's Hitler, etc. And it hasn't seemed to have had much effect on the course of the administration. Why do you think your protest is going to make a difference? And what do you, what's the point of it? I disagree, Tucker. I think they're definitely making an impact. You see, uh, it's called a movement, and as you've noticed, the protests are growing. They're getting larger. Um, there's multiple protests coming up in reference to Trump's taxes. There's, a, as a gay man, there's a LGBT, you know, protest coming up in reference to Trump's uh, potential actions against the gay community. And it's not a standstill. It's a movement, and uh, I definitely think, and it's getting to Trump. I would uh, say so as well. Uh, we see he's getting frazzled by the media. And uh, I definitely think they're making a, a definite uh, impact. So you want the president to be more frazzled? No, it's 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 obviously you're saying you're saying he's not you know, it's not making a difference, and I think it is well, because he keeps calling it, attention to the media's perception of him. Okay. So you said that as a gay man, it was important you to do it. You wanted to call attention to to LBGT issues. I'm not aware that Trump is on a different side from you on any of those issues. What do you mean exactly? No, there's been some potential legislation out there in reference to some federal uh, executive orders he wants to place. And these past protests that like have been uh, transpiring like what is, what is since... Trump it, well, let me finish, let me finish my thought. Okay. Um, you know, these, these protests have started since January, and, you know, they've been, you know, the Women's March. We've had the Muslim ban, you know, march, which people are disagreeing with all of Trump's, you know, references to what he wants to do. And I, I think today was just another one of those positive causes right. where people are uniting together and they are making a statement against what Trump is trying to put into motion. Right. I, and I, I get that. I just, the details kind of matter because, you know, it's a protest. You're trying to influence the president of the United States, the most powerful man in the world. So what specifically do you mean? What are you worried about, as you said, as a gay man? What is Trump going to do to you as a gay man? Well, that was just uh, that was in reference to the upcoming uh, June L.A. you know LGBT march. But in reference to you know today, today was the Not My President's uh, Day march, and because many of us do agree. And if you're looking at all these protests that are happening, you see thousands and thousands. I, I look back at the most uh, the day the inauguration inaugura sorry inaugura inauguration day march. And they were expected to be 50 to 100,000 people I'm in sorry, Los Angeles. Shane, I, I want to be 750,000. But I want to bring you back to the point that I asked about a couple of times. So Trump, uh, I think, released a letter today saying that all the protections for gay workers in place, he's going to keep, late January, I guess, he's going to keep in place. So what, I mean, I often people say, you know, I'm worried as a gay man about Trump, but what specifically does that mean? What are you worried about? What executive orders has he said he's going to put through that are going to hurt Mike you Pence's as a gay man? Mike Pence's thoughts are very well known in, re in regards to the, the LGBT community, and there was the, an initial report where Trump... Look, you threw this out there, so I think it's fair for me to press you. Honestly, I feel like is Trump, Trump isn't even do? the president either, and it's very well known in reference to, you know, if you look at his cabinet, Trump Trump's throwing a potential re-election. No, he... Because he is on that platform to speak for said presidency. You know, he's in so Florida this past weekend beginning a re-election campaign. Well, Mike Pence, as much as I disagree with the man, is actually doing presidential things and, you know, overseas. He's meeting well, with you two talking about, Pence you know, the was AIDS. the bad one, but now he's the good one? I've, you're twisting my words. I'm not. You just said, and I'm trying to be fair with you. You just said that you don't think, you're protesting Trump because you're feared, afraid of what he's going to do, particularly, as you said, as a gay man. I asked you, what is he going to do to you as a gay man? Well, nothing really, but no, Mike Pence I, will because he Trump's not the real president. My being gay is not the point of this. It was you brought it up. in reference I'm, to an like, upcoming what are you talking protest. About? Yes, like, I what? did. Yeah. You know, okay. I, I did. And, and if I was a woman, I'd mention how I was at, you know, the women's protest. But you're not but a no, woman, so let's as get back I, to the point a, that you made. What are you talking about? Because there are gay people watching and they're thinking, holy smokes, what's Trump going to do to me? It, what's Trump going to do to you as a gay man? I mean, I, that's an honest question. What's the answer? It's well known that there was potential legislation out there. There was a leaked report. But he doesn't pass legislation. And it was covered by the media. The 
And he put there a letter out disputing. There was a potential executive order, Tucker. But he said, "I'm not going to." Do you want? Do you want to with... talk about the actual "Not My President's Day" <laughs> protest, <laughs> or are we just going to go off on a tangent what do you on? Want? It's not a tangent chain. You I made an off the cuff remark about my okay. being a gay man. Okay. And, and, and I feel like I've been talking more such. about that than the actual protest itself. So if because we want to get back to talking about the protest, I'm more than happy to. I'm trying. Look, I asked you why you were protesting. You said there are a bunch of reasons. Here's one of them. I said, I hear this a lot from people who, of goodwill, who say, you know, I'm gay and I'm worried about President Trump. And you brought it up. And so I said, in what way? But I also mentioned said, the tax day protests, and we seem to kind of want to pigeonhole away from um, uh, Trump's taxes, which have still not been released. Still not oh. been released. And I oh. also mentioned that as one of the upcoming protests, and you're completely deviating. Um, you're, you're picking on one <laughs> no, specific not, no. thing that I said. I'm making the mistake of taking I'm glad you find this funny because I don't I will never do again. I can promise you that. Shane, thanks a lot for joining us. I appreciate it.